From Studio 3C and Rockefeller Center, this is News 4 New York. Westchester County officials hope to expand access to the arts, and one way they're doing that is through the role of Poet Laureate. A new Poet Laureate was just selected, and she has big plans to get more people interested and involved in the arts. News 4's Gilma Avalos has her story. What I know for sure, trauma is a ghost. For Felicia Villanueva, poetry is a form of activism and healing. We all cope in different ways. And I just want to share, you know, how, how I did it through writing. Sharing parts of her identity through her words. A mother, Belizean American, domestic violence survivor. And Felicia now wears another title proudly. During She's the newly named Poet Laureate, Laureate West for Westchester County. County. I want to share my interesting story and journey with the county. The role of Poet Laureate is meant to bring poetry to the people. She beat out other candidates for the three-year role, an initiative from the nonprofit Arts Westchester. In many ways, it's a job she's been doing since she was a teenager. She's a published author, co-founder of the Yonkers Writing Group, a writing meetup for creatives. She also founded the first teen open mic in downtown Yonkers. I just wanted a space to do my poetry with my friends. It turned from a teen open mic to a community um, cultural storytelling space. In her new role, Felicia hopes to get more young people interested in written and spoken word poetry through poetry slams, open mic events, and social media initiatives, offering space for others to share their own unique stories. There's not enough places to share stories anymore. And it's through storytelling um, that we become more connected. Gilma Avalos, News 4 New York. Yeah, and that accessibility is so key to get people involved and not to be intimidated. Exactly. Poetry and arts. Anybody can do it. Exactly. We are getting ready for a bit of a woman train.